Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today we're doing a foundation review and we're testing out the new Zoeva Authentic with a K, <laughs> Natural Luminous Foundation. When I saw this, I was really curious because I didn't think Zoeva really did a lot of base makeup. I know they have eyeshadow palettes, I think they have a few blushes, maybe some highlights, but the main thing that I know Zoeva for is brushes. I've bought a few of their sets, they're really robust, they've lasted me a really long time, and they're reasonably affordable. They're not the cheapest. For the quality, they are a pretty good price point, because brushes can get expensive. <laughs> <laughs> so I was really surprised that they came out with a foundation. I mean, everyone and their mother is coming out with a foundation right now, so I guess it's not too surprising. <laughs> but when I saw that they were bringing out one, I really wanted to try it. Also, it says it's a natural luminous foundation, which is my kind of vibe, you know? So I picked it up, clearly. <laughs> You guys know the drill with my foundation reviews. I'm going to be doing a wear test, swatches, so you guys get some shade comparison. And yeah. If you're just stopping by and you're brand new to the channel, hi, my name is Kirielle. I hope you decide to stick around and subscribe. I'm a sucker for makeup. Uh, I'm a hoarder of makeup. And if you're the same way, why not subscribe? We clearly have a lot in common. <laughs> I'm an awkward wannabe socialite that just likes to socialize with people on the internet so I don't actually have to be awkward in real person. Um, <laughs> nice to meet you. Hi. I feel a bit vulnerable now. Let's let's just get onto the foundation, shall we? <laughs> let's get into the cleans. It does come in 44 shades, which is amazing. The spectrum does seem pretty even. The deeper shade range could definitely do with extending, but obviously it's their first kind of complexion launch, like their base launch. So to start off with 44 shades is pretty good. And I've got the shade 10N Aglow, which is the palest shade in the range. I'm all ago. Mm -hmm. And now I know So this is love Name that movie Anyway, uh, <laughs> I got mine off Beauty Bay, but it's quite widely available online. Like it's on Zoeva's website, Feel Unique have it. It was £25, so it's not the cheapest, but it's not the most expensive foundation. I really love the packaging. I don't know why. I just really think it's aesthetically pleasing. So this shade is for very fair skin tones with neutral undertones. Can I get a whoop whoop? Again, in a very weird mood. So this is supposed to be enriched with nourishing power of rosehip oil, natural luminous foundation that glides on to deliver a buildable, silky smooth and all day long finish. It's available in a variety of warm, cool or neutral undertones. It's supposed to have a lightweight formula, maintain the skin's natural protective barrier, evening out the complexion and allowing your skin natural luminosity to shine through. It says each name is shade with a positive affirmation meant to inspire and champion your true authentic self. I mean, it's getting a bit serious for a foundation, but okay. I'm really gonna pick up my foundation and go, yes, I'm inspired by you. I don't know. <laughs> I guess mine does inspire me to burst into song, so maybe they're right, I don't know. It says that it has microsphere powders with soft focus properties to help create a flawless airbrushed finish. Getting a bit fancy up in here. It's also made in Italy. I can't really find any claims on like skin types that it's good for, so let's just assume it's for everybody. <laughs> yeah, so all they say is it's supposed to be buildable, a natural radiant finish, it's supposed to be good for your skin, and um, apparently it's supposed to last all day. So we are going to be putting that to the test today. I'm gonna stop my yammering on and we are gonna get right into the swatches and then the all day wear test. Okay, so here we have the Zoeva Authentic Foundation in the shade 010 Aglow. Here's the Conceal and Define Foundation in the shade F1. This is the Conceal and Hydrate Foundation in the shade F07. Maybelline Infallible in the shade 15 Porcelain. CYO Life Proof in the shade 101 and the Hourglass Vanish Stick in the shade Blanc. I'm gonna be trying it with a brush and a sponge so we can see what kind of finish is best, which gets the best kind of coverage, etc, etc. I have already primed, which I will list in the description if you're wondering. But yeah, let's open this baby up. I really like the actual box of this. And this is what the bottle looks like. So I quite like it actually, it's like a glass 
bottle. It's quite heavy and it feels good quality. The shade looks quite promising. As you guys can see, I am very pale, so hopefully this will match. <laughs> I'm just gonna quickly get my glass palette so we can see the consistency. Okie dokie, let's have a quick look at this. Come on now. Bit consistent with the pumps there. It kinda didn't come out in the first pump, so I'd call that two pumps. Oh look, it looks like a little heart. How cute. <laughs> it's actually quite a thick formula. As you guys can see, it's not really moving. For some reason I was picturing it to be kind of like fluid, runny, but I was wrong. <laughs> Ooh, it actually really feels thick as well. It feels very soft in texture as well, which is a weird way to describe a foundation, but that's what I'm feeling. <laughs> Okay, let's put a few dots on my face. I've forgotten to color match again. What is wrong with me? <laughs> put a little bit on my chest by here. This is technically my shoulder, but you get the drift. <laughs> that actually kind of looks a little light, to be fair. I do have a little bit of redness on my chest right now because it's kind of a bit warm, not gonna lie. <laughs> but I think undertone, it is a pretty good match. So we're gonna just continue. I feel like in real life, it actually matches very well. Okay, now I'm gonna quickly blend this out because I don't know how quick I need to. Let's just put a few more dots on. And let's get to blending. I'm going to use the brush on this side. It's quite easy to blend out because it is a slightly thicker formula. There is like a little bit of resistance but it's not hard to blend out by any means. Coverage wise, I'd say this is actually a pretty high coverage. I've got this freckle by here that never wants to be covered and it has almost covered it. Not completely but it is pretty, pretty covered. As far as finish goes, it's very sheeny, very luminous. It does look very nice on the skin. However, I don't really like the way that it's blended out with the brush. It doesn't look too bad, but it's not like seamless. I feel like it's kind of laying on top a little weird. I can see my pores quite a little bit. It's not really doing anything for those. Any texture that I have, it's not really doing anything for it. Let's try it with a sponge and see if I can get a better finish. This is a lot sheerer coverage. You can still see my redness coming through on this side. Still really showing my pores on my cheeks, which I don't really like. <laughs> and again, any like texture and stuff, it's still showing through quite a bit. I'm gonna go in with another layer on this side. See if I can build up the coverage a little bit. Let's see. Okay, that has built up the coverage a little bit and it does look a lot nicer on my face now on this side. I do really like the finish of this. Like I think the glow on my skin is so nice. I'm gonna go over this side with the sponge to see if this will help it lay better. I think I need to go in with another layer on this side. I just feel like one more layer will even me out. So I'm just gonna add one more pump because I have gone through everything that was on my palette. I'm just gonna go straight in with the sponge on the pump and build up this side a little bit. Oh, it looks so much better in doing that. I think I would just dip my sponge in to the product and add it that way because I much prefer the way that looks. Yeah so much better. I'm just pretty much going in with excess on my forehead. I don't really like adding that much on my forehead to be honest. I have like freckles and stuff that come through but I just don't like my forehead to look cakey and that's where I've got expression lines coming in so I try not to use that much product on there. I'm gonna go in with a little more because otherwise my forehead's gonna look a lot darker than my face because I'm pretty much matching my neck right now. This is quite a decent shade. I know it, everyone thinks I'm like ridiculous in going lighter with my foundation, but I have so much redness and so much discoloration, freckles on my face. I just like to look like the rest of me, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I've been noticing more and more with all of my foundations, I'm getting creasing right by here on my chin. It's really weird. I've never had anything like that before and now I get it all the time. So I think I need to suss a primer out for that, but it's kind of settle in there. That's the only reason why I see. Apart from that, I think this looks actually kind of decent now that I've added the extra layer and that I've used the sponge. The finish is so pretty. The foundation does kind of have like a little bit of a scent to it. I'm not quite sure what it is, but I can smell something, but it might just be the actual product itself, you know, not a fragrance that's been added. I really need to conceal these eyes. I'm just gonna add a little bit of foundation under there to help out a little bit. I think my 
primer is kind of pulling up underneath the foundation a bit so I've got a bit of a weird texture thing going on by here but I don't think that's the foundation. Alright so this is the foundation on as you can see it gives such a luminous finish but it doesn't look crazy dewy. As far as my skin it's looking pretty average like it's not so much smoothed out or anything like that but I can rectify stuff like that with primers. I think the actual colour is a good foundation match for me. Obviously if you're paler then this is the paler shade so it may not work for people who are lighter than me. As far as set down it is still tacky. Um and there's transfer coming off on my fingers when I do touch it. So this is one that I would definitely, definitely have to set. I pretty much set every single foundation though that I put on my face because I have oily skin. The finish is really nice and also layered pretty nicely. As far as coverage, I say it's kind of low high coverage because you can still see like all my freckles coming through and obviously I've done two layers so it's not complete full coverage but it's virgin on the high spectrum. I'm gonna go ahead and finish off the rest of my face. Oh wait, check-in time is 12.57 so let's call it one o'clock. I know I'm starting a little bit late in the day but I do stay up quite late so I'll get probably at least 10 hours with this foundation. But yeah, I'm gonna go sort the rest of my face out. I'm gonna go get changed and start my actual day because I've just been chilling in bed all morning. <laughs> Okay, so this is my face. It's now just gone quarter past two, so this has been on for about an hour or so. I did set it with powder and it is looking pretty good still. I have a touch of radiance coming through my forehead, which is quite nice. I mean, obviously like this on my face is highlighter. It's looking pretty matte at the moment, but obviously that's because I've set it down. I haven't actually put any setting spray on because I was quite liking the way my skin's looking. I'm feeling the matte vibe right now. I had to set this one because it had a kind of tacky feeling if I hadn't have set it. I feel like I would have had a problem blending my bronzer, blush and highlight over top but with the powder on I had no issues at all with that. I've got a little bit of creasing around my mouth by here but I did add concealer to rectify my mistakes that I did with my liquid lipstick because it was quite a mess. <laughs> so it's probably just a little bit of build up of concealer there. I did use a little bit of a blurring powder underneath my eyes so it's kind of blurred my pores a little bit by here. The rest of my face, the pores aren't so much a problem but I can just see them by here on my cheeks a little bit. I kind of booped my nose earlier with my nails so a little bit of the foundation has come off. I did try to rectify that but it didn't really work so uh, I have a little bit missing on my nose for that but you know what it's it's fine. It's not too serious. <laughs> but yeah, this is my finished face. I'm gonna go about the rest of my day. I'm gonna pop out for a bit, stretch my legs a little, and uh, then we'll check back in later on and see what it looks like. Hey guys, it is now quarter to eight. I would have done a check-in earlier, but I had the worst migraine. So I had to have a little bit of a lie down, a little bit of a rest, and uh, take some painkillers, because I literally was just, my body had had enough. <laughs> but I thought I'd that was rude, Mr. Pumpkin. I'm gonna stop rambling and let's have a look at this foundation. <laughs> what am I working with here? You know what? For being like, what is it? We're at the like six hour mark at the moment. For being six hours, this does not look that bad. Looking pretty good. Like I have an obvious like sheen to my skin, but I don't mind this. This isn't like crazy oily or anything. I would happily just kind of powder down like these areas. My forehead actually isn't that bad either. It's kind of got the same sheen that it had when I first applied it to be honest. The rest of my face doesn't really have like a crazy shine. Like I get oily everywhere pretty much but obviously the t-zone is kind of my oiliest area but the rest of my face is looking pretty good. I do really like the way my skin is looking. It hasn't creased anymore on my chin. My pores kind of look the same. Coverage hasn't faded really or reduced and it hasn't moved or anything so I'm quite liking the way this is wearing right now just kind of a little bit oily but yeah still looking pretty even pretty glowy let's just see how it wears after a few more hours see you in a bit hey guys it is now my bedtime <laughs> oh I've forgotten my phone to tell you what the time is <laughs> okay so it is now quarter to one in the morning so this has been on for a while we're coming up to 12 hours. I'm really tired. I really just want to take my makeup off, jump into bed. I feel like I'm talking in slow-mo and that tired. <laughs> but let's see the damage. My face feels actually 
quite fine. I don't feel heavy. I don't feel oily. I actually feel pretty normal. So let's take a look at my face. Hmm, this is actually looking quite nice. It hasn't actually changed that much from earlier. I'm a touch more oily. So in the center of my face, my forehead now as well, as you guys can see, there's quite a bit of shine there. But I'm not like dripping or anything. I'm not excessively oily. Even though my oils have come through though, the actual foundation hasn't broken apart at all. The coverage is still pretty much there. I've been editing, so I've been leaning on my face and I don't really see any removal of the product. There's a little bit of creasing going on by here where I kind of do this if I've got like an itch or something. Around my nose it hasn't really caked up which does kind of happen as I get oily. I find that it cakes up around my nose usually. This one hasn't done that which is pretty impressive. I've got transfer of my eyeliner which is just great. You just love having oily eyelids. <laughs> I mean it has been 12 hours, so I'll, I'll give it that. <laughs> but actually my face is not looking too bad. Again, it's still all in one piece. I haven't got patchiness. I still look really even. The colour is still there. For me to still like match my chest and neck at this time of night is pretty good. And the finish is really pretty. I don't mind being oily if it lasts this long. I just think it makes me look healthy. It hasn't settled into fine lines. I actually quite like this one. I didn't think I would when I initially applied it because it didn't really help out my texture or anything like that on my pores. But if I just use like a pore filling primer, I feel like this one is going to be a really good contender. As far as how it feels, it doesn't feel heavy or anything. Obviously where my oils are, there's a little bit of transfer. Where they aren't really coming through, there isn't any transfer. So if you've got like dry skin, I feel like this would be super long wearing on you. It started raining outside real loud. Do you mind? Yeah, this foundation is pretty impressive. It feels like I haven't got anything on my skin. I'm gonna continue trying it. Thought I wasn't gonna like it in the beginning, but it's taken a a good turn and we're on good terms now. <laughs> All right, so that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful if you are thinking about buying this foundation. I'm gonna go to bed now because I is tired. If you're new to the channel and you're just now stopping by, if you did wanna join along in this little community, then all you need to do is hit the red subscribe button down below and the little bell button and that'll just notify you of whenever I upload. I'm gonna love you guys and leave you. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope to see you on the next one. Till then. Bye guys. If you did want to, if you, if you did want to subscribe, it's got microsphere, it's got microsphere, why is that word so hard to say? It's also made it, it's also made in, oh, where is it made? Please tell me. Because I can't say it. Let's just see how it, let's just see how it wears through. As far as, as far as, as far as, Blah, 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 blah. Cool, whatever. <laughs> so stupid.